I'm so glad I'm going to be in Houston, Texas. The power of God right here. The power of God right here. I'm going to be with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I saw myself in Houston. That's where you live. This is you going to the airport. I actually saw myself at your boarding gate. Your boarding gate was 48. Yes, sir. Why are you looking at me like that? The last time it was glorious, glorious. The Lord is going to visit us in a powerful way. Come to be healed, to be delivered, to be blessed, to be touched and established in Jesus. 2019, 30th October, 2024. 28th October, 2024 is Jehovah Deductive Service. The venue is at Fort Bend Epicenter. Pastor Benny Hinn and Apostle Johnson Suleiman are coming to Houston. We are coming to Texas. Event is free. Registration is required. Scan QR code to register or visit www.ofmhisting.org. Please lay your hands now, believing. Anywhere you are trusting God for a miracle, I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones. I'm seeing others connecting by faith. There are people following from hospitals, having death sentences. It is for your sake that God sent us to be channels of healing and miracles. I believe in miracles. I really do. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick, I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences, in the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant, that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar. I command that those spirits depart right now. Depart right now. Depart right now. Now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick. It doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is. I stretch my hands prophetically and I declare be healed now. Let the life of God surge into your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cancer, be healed now. Tumors and growths, be healed now. Anyone having a bone condition, I declare be healed now. Anyone lying down on the sick bed, I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I speak healing for you now. 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 Agree with me. In the name of Jesus, Koinonia shouted loud, Amen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command every devil of infirmity, every spirit that is back of any kind of disease, be gone right now in the name of Jesus. My God. Now I declare be healed, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Some of you have multiple lungs around the breast area. Right now check it, that devil is gone, that devil is gone. Every growth in your body, it answers to the name of Jesus right now. My goodness, God is setting people free. I am seeing God take things out of people's stomachs, like, I don't know, like growth or whatever. I declare anyone having a fibroid or any kind of demonic growth, right now, fire from heaven is coming upon you. That devil dissolves now. 
That devil dissolves now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. We declare that cancer dries from your body now. The Bible says that God would preserve those who have been appointed to die. There are human beings who have been appointed to die. They are walking on earth whereas they had finished. When you read the book of Esther, you will see that they use divination to choose the date where they will fight and annihilate the Jews. In the name of Jesus, for everyone and every family here appointed to death, that whilst you are walking on earth in the realm of the spirit, it has been concluded that on this day you will die. I decree and declare, death passes over you. Death passes over your loved ones. We rebuke the spirit of death. Oh grave, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? Be banished from God's people. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you that the fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every situation that has become an object of mockery in your life. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare. Between now and the end of this month. In the name of Jesus whose I am. In the name of Jesus that situation is done for your good now. I command every devil of infirmity. Right now be gone in the name of Jesus. I cause every spirit responsible for any and all forms of infirmity. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Please help those under the anointing. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening. On the crown of your head, my God, such an anointing is flowing to the soles of your feet. Be healed now. Be healed now. I administer the power of God to your body I command every growth dissolve now every swelling go down now every tumor disappear now be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I bring you the life and the healing power of Jesus and for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones I decree and declare wherever they are across this nation and around the globe may the angel of God's presence go with the healing power of Jesus to them in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be cleansed in Jesus name anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny I relocate you to your place of destiny I relocate you to your place of destiny I'm saying it again there may be a man of God the reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned I relocate you to your place assigned there is a location for every mantle and Isaac sowed in that land not any land that land there are lands when you sow into you go down he said abraham come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that i will show you and in the obedience of your advancement i will make you a great nation i will make your name great there are many people the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning and hear me there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad 
they are suffering and wasting time greener pasture is not in a physical location greener pasture is in the voice of god anybody wrongly located across the globe i take you back to your place of destiny Can we release the grace for speed? Listen, why do we pray for speed? Most of you, listen, you must understand. Now here, I want you to help the ushers. There are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do. All right? So, um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry, once it's time, please help the ushers. There's only so much they can do. I promise that I was going to work with time. Do you know why I release the grace for speed? Because I have discovered, listen to me. There are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned number one is restoration number two is speed these are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny for some of you many things have left you behind but i want to release that grace and when i please i want you to help them because people will start running and so i wanted to help them i stretch my hands by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic, I decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded, I introduce to your life right now the grace for speed. Release, receive it right now. Speed, 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 speed. Receive that grace. Speed, shabakatabakatos. Speed. I command it. I declare it. I decree it over your life man of god speed businessman speed elijah receive speed in the name of jesus christ now i want to rebuke spirits for as long as i live no demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive i i already sense fire matesh ali kapa at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus and every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life are you ready now i decree and declare that at the count of three every spirit witchcraft every manipulation connected to bloodline you must let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus lift your destinies now lift your destiny apakatos ketebata krepegetos kepetos kata prakatos ketebeleka out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly i decree and declare every foul spirit every unclean spirit it's time for you to leave let god's people go now bring them out very quickly wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go i'm praying again every spirit tying down anyone here any man any woman i'm saying it again at the count of three let the fire fall one two three shout jesus let the fire fall 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 in the name of jesus Hello, give me Madonna. I 
will i will say it again when it's time to prophesy but i just had the opening of a key and i saw a door open and i want to declare it i don't know who that is for but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as i speak now and you will be surprised to see doors open lord as to help that lady doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it I say it again it may not be for everybody but for someone who have prayed you have fasted in the name of Jesus Christ my God and your God I say it again doors be open now doors be open doors be open doors be open doors of ministry marital doors fruitfulness doors financial doors a father be open hallelujah please play strings play the guitar for me there are still more people you are bringing out i'm seeing a book open before me and i'm seeing a hand pointing on that book and god is saying is the season of these people there is something he's doing seasons your season there's nothing that will stop it when god has opened that is the season is open bring them out oh, 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 oh. Ah. Oh, turn again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream hallelujah who is jeremiah i'm hearing a name jeremiah who is jeremiah is there a gentleman called jeremiah you are wearing a t-shirt jeremiah is there someone like that jeremiah what's your name come i want to pray for you Halandes calibra katosh calibri there is a man of god here you are stepping into the prophetic there is I, I just saw like an eagle and every time i see that this is a symbolism of the prophetic the lord has been training you you do not even know that he's calling you into the prophetic ministry in the name of jesus may that hand from zion rest upon you in the name of jesus the son of the living god Jeremiah in the name of Jesus you two stand here where they are here I want to pray for them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and I declare my God I'm seeing light coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's shifting you right now take that grace 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hela de gadu sabran de gabarush kalika de. Please don't lose focus over what God is doing. Shalega baruski ata. Grande gadusia. I'm seeing an anointing coming on this, my people. Lift your hands. Take that grace. The name of Jesus. Take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. New dimensions of power. The Lord is bringing you into new seasons. New seasons of grace. New seasons. New seasons of power. New seasons. In the name of Jesus. New seasons of authority. the spirit of delay is about to leave now the spirit of delay i'm about to declare please bring those people outside everyone on that under the yoke of delay at the count of three shout the name jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus i cross that spirit now delay in the name of Jesus Christ, bring them out. Delay, delay in destiny, delay of the manifestation of the hand of God upon your life. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Every family here represented all our viewers following from across the globe following from your homes if there be any entity that is not of the Christ causing all kinds of problems as you shout that name make sure you shout it those who are following from your homes everywhere that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation are you ready now at the count of three one two my god three shout jesus yes. release their destinies now please bring them out release them now release their destinies now powers of witchcraft powers in the air territorial spirits sitting upon the destinies of men bring them out very quickly in the name of jesus we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now please whether you are an usher or not just help the ushers i'm sure their hands are limited whether you are an usher or not someone is under the anointing you can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time we are still going to pray there are families under all kinds of yokes you will still shout that name again this time around not just for yourself but for everyone connected to you so that even if they could not make it for your sake are you ready now father visit families may your fire and your anointing born of altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one two three shout jesus we set altars on fire in the name of jesus christ we set yokes on fire let them go let them go by the power of the holy ghost let them go
open your mouth in one minute and begin begin to declare your release i declare liberty in the name of jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations yokes of darkness manipulations of witchcraft is someone praying release your children release your destiny please pray release your ministry release your business hallelujah hallelujah the lord is showing me two families you are from kogi state the lord is taking away the spirit of death i'm seeing this my god parakatosia wherever that family is represented in whoever whichever individual is here i command that sword of death to be averted from your family now Ah 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 destiny down that has found that you will not rise is about to let you go now are you ready now one two three shout jesus right now i command those powers be gone right now release your destinies now bring them out please release your destinies right now in the name of jesus christ i set on fire every altar that is not of god yokes of darkness i declare be released now please bring them out be released now by the fire of the holy ghost be released right now i'm seeing a, a there is a grace that is coming on women i'm seeing chains people who have been bound i stretch my hands i'm seeing the number 13 i don't know where you are but right now i stretch my hands in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you please bring them out one two three take that fire right now take that fire every altar of darkness tying your destiny it must let you go now it must let you go now hold mama carefully bring her out now listen you are standing you are standing for families there are some of you listen to me you are not just please don't come out at random those under the anointing just bring those under the anointing in the name of jesus christ there are families here that are under all kinds of yokes my goodness i'm telling you i'm just seeing like 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 light just coming on people i'm stretching my hands right now please help me help this guy let him know what to do huh in the name of jesus christ at the count of three there is such massive deliverance going on right now one two three take that grace right now the chains that have held you down there are people who cannot move forward you've been in abuja for years and it looks like there are forces holding you down i declare be released now be released now be released now by the power of the holy ghost bring them out be released now in the name of jesus blessing blessing who is blessing 
I'm hearing the name blessing. You are wearing black with a black face mask. All black. All black. Is there someone like that? Blessing. It's time for your life to change. I stretch my hands right now. Change in the name of Jesus Christ. By the spirit of grace. Bring them out. Fire is burning in this place. In the name of Jesus. Fire is burning in this place. I set every altar. Please connect. Please connect. Be serious. I set every altar. All of you who are in front here. The spirits that oppress you at the count of three, go, 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 go out of their lives, out of their destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the mantle for the prophetic, I'm seeing the number 14. Please just give me strings. It's going to come on 14 people i'm seeing some of you have prayed some of you have fasted you have seen it in dreams and visions the prophetic is real i know that there are abuses and the rest but please don't confuse that there are people who can step into this grace i want to stretch my hands father i do not know where they are across the length and the breadth of this auditorium but there are people you have preordained to be in this meeting that must drink of this wine my god i'm seeing an eagle there it goes in the name of jesus at the count of three may that grace and that man to fall like a tornado upon your life are you ready one two three take that grace help them help them help that gentleman i activate that prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear help this pastor my goodness in the name of jesus step into levels of fire in the name of jesus step into levels of fire bring them out drink of that prophetic well spring up our wells in the name of jesus hear me in this season the borders are rising there are women of power women of grace i'm about to release that grace where are the borders hear the word of the lord i bring a clarion call by the spirit at the count of three may that man to locate you right now one two three take that grace fire upon your life fire upon your ministry fire upon the borders fire upon the borders fire take that grace two of you this this pastor take that grace take that grace you and your wife take that grace in the name of jesus the spirit of the lord is saying i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm revealing my glory in a new dimension your eyes will see it i'm still i don't know why god is still saying to speak over women there are people you are returning back to the realm of prophetic dreams where you will see things before they happen i stretch my hands take that grace right now 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 hallelujah madam this woman with green yes lift your hands is are you husband and wife sir lift your hands both of you i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on both of you i'm stretching my hands take that grace both of you in the name of jesus the christ of god drink of this grace step into new dimensions in the spirit help them in the name of jesus you will never be the same never be the same never be the same never be the same by the spirit of the living god now hear me every door that has refused to open
in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now for as long as it is a door standing before you and it has refused to open I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I speak to that door Ephata be open hidden Tita Ephata be open hidden Tita open your mouth and begin to pray declare that door opens the door of my influence the door of grace are you praying open your mouth and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah i decree and declare grace upon your prayer life in the name of jesus ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened it says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them i pray that spiritual ignorance dries up from your life in the name of jesus i declare colossians 1 verse 9 upon your life that you'll be filled with the knowledge of his will you'll be filled with all wisdom and you'll be filled with spiritual understanding in the name of jesus christ The Bible says, and I will restore the years. Everything you have lost in time. Please believe this one. I stand again in agreement. And we declare over you and over the nations. In the name of Jesus, the grace that brings restoration. Drink of that grace. Drink of that grace. Supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every man woman of God here present and those connecting online that you desire in your life you desire in your ministry I stand in faith and I declare that grace comes upon you now that grace comes upon you now that grace begins to speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus all those in politics and government I decree and declare by the spirit of god we separate you and we declare step into new levels of achievement in the name of jesus i speak over captains of industry hear the word of the lord i decree and declare that in this season where many are saying there is a casting down for you hear your prophecy let there be a rising up in the name of jesus it was james in chapter 2 and verse 26 who declared that for a spirit without a body without a spirit is dead your business is only a body there is a spirit that must give it life i declare the spirit that powers the bodies the vessels the projects the businesses that excel in the name of jesus christ may that grace rest upon you Can we declare over your finances there are different levels of wealth and the prophetic dimension comes as an advantage a system of advantage in this kingdom you have your products and your services that you offer and that's wonderful you have your value that you provide but much more than that there has to be a supernatural backing that pushes you forward are we together now it says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent in the name of jesus i stand again with the angels over this house and i declare over your finances in a very strange way for the bible declares believe the lord your god so shall you be established it says believe his prophet so shall you prosper step into strange seasons of abundance seasons of opportunity seasons of abundance in the name of jesus if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is hovering around you hovering around your family please hear this because we are we live in seasons where someone can just say headache my head my head and just fall down and die someone shout no way in the name of Jesus I speak over your life I declare that anyone here who is being appointed unto death by reason of death passes over you in the name of jesus christ you will not be a victim of kidnapping 
you will not be a victim of accident you will not be a victim of plane crash you will not be a victim of the wickedness of men a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side we prophesy that none will harm you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked may this be your heritage in the name of jesus let me pray for families here psalm 112 it says blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed that wealth and riches will be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever i declare we pray for our children may they be mighty in the name of jesus listen this spirit in africa that makes children even though grown that they have to depend on parents to still feed them in old age we stand by the grace of god every young person here who is 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 responsible and should be employed or should be engaged i declare we push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ I pray for those who are in the music ministry in the name of Jesus I use this wonderful man of God who ministered what an amazing vessel you are in the name that is above all names I declare I use him as a point of where's the gentleman he's not here in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless you my dear one you will step into unprecedented dimensions of grace in the name of Jesus and I use him as a point of contact anyone here who is in the music ministry genuine worshiper and you've not gained the kind of visibility that allows you to be a blessing and to be rewarded in the name of jesus we tear the veil and we announce you i release a hear ye him anointing upon you in the name of jesus find visibility we multiply your influence by the spirit in the name of jesus let me pray a prayer that God is putting in my heart. I hope you don't see it as carnal. There are people here. The grace for territory is not yet on you. You've been in this city for a long time. But it looks like you have not gotten your own place. I want to shift you by prophecy. Standing in partnership with the man of God. You should not be in this city for long in a place of good and abundance and your portion has not been given to you. And they dug a well and the Philistines covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. Then they dug the third one and they left them. They called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. I prophesy to someone in the name that is above all names. Between now and the end of this year, have your own space. I give you your own portion in this city, in this land in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven your heart is already right with god i know that but i want you to agree with god and say lord between now can you give me a reason to praise your name this year i tell you if you if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
everyone shout it say after me in the name of jesus i decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed assigned to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my christian life i challenge you by the blood of jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying god to stop results from happening in my life i challenge you i challenge you i challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah let's take one more prayer point i want us to release the ministry of angels listen the bible says are they not ministering spirits let me tell you hear me angels are real i see them all the time you will be foolish to believe angels are not real not everybody here seated physically in koinonia is a human being I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over koinonia the angels assigned over koinonia we release you by the word of god the angels assigned over god's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of jesus bring miracles bring signs bring wonders hallelujah we're out of time but let's pray the holy ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear look at me listen let me tell you something about the spirit of fear i tell you fire is burning in this place listen fear is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking god seriously when god speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket the ten thousand finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left god because of fear in the name of jesus i challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family 
over my loved ones over koinonia i declare in the name of jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear i refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia are you praying tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism Time in the name of Jesus, Father, every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened, I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you. I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business, prosper my ministry. I still believe. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you have prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from John. I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. But you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction. The unction that teaches men. Things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light. That illumination. Shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you for every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact i pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night 
I don't care how short the time is. I decree and I ask the Lord Most High to reproduce that testimony in your life. May He reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft, any kind of sickness. Right now as I stand here, in the name that is above all names, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through. Help them, please. May the fire of the Holy Ghost. My God, I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed. May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you 
I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the privilege of grace and apostleship, and by the power of the prophetic, I speak over someone. May that grace that makes rich, may that grace that can empower a man, rolling away financial shame from lives and families, receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Upon the works of your hands, receive it. Upon your mind, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't believe in poverty. It's already clear. There is no point hiding or playing around it. There's, there's nothing, nothing to explain about it at all. I'm not talking of fanatism and this obsession for money. I have taught you here that money has three major assignments number one for your comfort god blesses us so that we can live a comfortable life number two god blesses us so that we can provide financial resources for kingdom advance number three god blesses us so that he can give us an opportunity to be a blessing to a dying world in a definite and a practical way money becomes a tool and evidence to that blessing to help us and financially speaking money has two assignments number one efficiency number two time redemption that's it the assignment of money in the life of any believer is to help you be efficient efficiency is a product of gaining time it's a dominion system number two time redemption one person sent by god can schedule a season in your life that brings you to permanent rest and by a prophet he says the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet no matter how blessed you are i have taught you here that the standard of being financially blessed is that you can give so much to the kingdom without it affecting your overall financial health if you have not gotten to that state it means you must open your heart for more samuel told him number one the donkey you have been looking for has been found prophecy brings restoration number two as you return you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give you that is honor and favor number three you will come to the garrison of the philistines and that the hand of the lord will come upon you and you will begin to prophesy truly the prophetic can bring prosperity it can be not, it can be abused but within the boundary of scripture and the boundary of doctrine for the believer 
he can work wonders i say it again the man to surprise you by god i send them to you prophetically the man raised by god to be his system of help towards your life and finances to bail you out from shame and reproach receive of your ministry right now I'm about to pray now and I want you to please bring those people under the anointing now that the power of God comes upon in the name of Jesus every family every individual every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation so that you will not move forward maybe you are a mother maybe you are a father maybe you are a man of God maybe you are a businessman maybe you are coming here for the first time watching online and it looks like there are altars that are vowed that you will not move forward I stand by this mantle I have been anointed by God to declare your liberty right now may the power of God come upon you be delivered now Leave at now. All kinds of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. All kinds of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. All kinds of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me some of you are standing not only for yourself i want to pray for families here whole families that have been tied down it looks every altar sitting on the sitting on the glory of any family if i be sent by god i stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle may fire fall upon that altar now May fire fall upon that altar. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria, parts of Africa. I declare, may the anointing of the Spirit touch you right in your room, in your office, right now. I set you free. Yokes of limitation be delivered now. Every chain that has tied your hand and tied your feet. Hold on, please. Listen, we are still praying. In Acts chapter 12, watch this now. When Peter was in the prison, they tied two parts of his body. Number one, his hands that's a symbol of your productivity number two your feet that is a symbol of your advancement they didn't tie his mouth they didn't tie his eyes but they tied his hand and his feet and the bible says they bound him that means to bind a man it is not every part of him you need to tie if you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement that man is bound let me release someone by the anointing of the spirit i declare your hands spiritually my god fire is coming on people's hands now these hands that have not been released maybe your father's hand was tied and all through his lifetime he lived a miserable life maybe your mother's hand was tied some of you the hands of your siblings i come holding the key of david given by the god of heaven himself in the name of jesus may those chains be loose from your hands 
Move from your feet. Move from your hands. Move from your feet. Move from your hands. Shapaka Doskata. Move from your feet. Man of God, I release you. It's time for your ministry to open up. I release you. Apostle, prophet, teacher, Makatosh Keteketa. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Be released now. When Jesus was buried, it was not just enough that he was put in a tomb. The Bible said a stone was used to cover that place. So when Jesus resurrected, it was not just enough to come out to rise from the dead. That stone needed to be rolled away so he would come out. Same thing happened with Lazarus. Let me roll away any stone. When it was time for Lazarus to come back to life, ay, ay, ay. let me speak to someone. Everything dead in your life, hear the word of the Lord. Talita Kumi, come alive, come alive, come alive. Every mantle, every door of favor, every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny. Everything that has died, hear the word of the Lord. Your influence, your relevance, come back to life now. Come back to life now. He said, Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, Only thou knowest. He said, Prophesy. I want to prophesy. Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours. But now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hear me. When there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of men. If you lose money it was not an attack it can just be a business walked with him and held the cross for him aside from John and his mother at the cross so when you begin to lose your peace number two when you always say that number one the Bible says now the Lord of peace himself will let you don't have men some of you have churches but you do not have men men are very important men are in many cases a sign that god is with you i have taught you that the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men in the name of jesus christ i call to your life the ministry of men i call to your life the ministry of men enjoy the ministry of men enjoy divine connectors enjoy men of influence enjoy gifted men enjoy burden bearers in the name of jesus christ finally before you sit let me pray for your passion some of you your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it everything you said you would do this year the zeal some of you even for ministry you may be men and women of god but sincerely that zeal again the zeal to fast gone zeal for god gone zeal for your goals gone 
the resilience to push towards your destiny is gone right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone. Let your zeal be restored. Let your zeal be restored. Your zeal for the house of God. Your zeal for the things of God. Your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny. Be restored in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth in one minute and receive. I declare that I receive in the it's name of Jesus. Is someone ready tonight? The first thing we are going to do right now, please listen. No distraction. Please, don't allow the devil distract you. We are working with time. In the next two or three minutes, you are going to cry. A, you are going to do a corporate prayer of repentance before God. Don't be too proud. Oh. You are going to cry before the God of it. You don't have to lie down or whatever. Whatever position is comfortable. Not as an act of condemnation. Genuinely before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I am standing in repentance. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways some of you need to pray on behalf of your children on behalf of your husband on behalf of your wife lord i take the responsibility of priesthood there are men of god who need to stand on behalf of their congregations there are business ceos that need to stand on behalf of their corporations lord we plead mercy over every altar of sin and iniquity that is empowering every other negative altar death delays retrogression stagnation please pray god is giving you a chance those following from your homes following by way of television or internet we are in a moment of deep brokenness and repentance a broken and a contrite heart oh god thou will not despise mercy oh god mercy oh god give me psalm 51 while you are praying i'm going to be reading for you psalm 51 please give us psalm 51 while we pray have mercy on me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression verse 2 please hurry up wash me thoroughly from my iniquity cleanse me from my sin for i acknowledge my transgression my sin is ever before me against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in your sight verse 4 that thou mightest be justified please give us verse 4 we're not done when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest verse 5 behold i was shaping in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me behold thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part shalt thou make me to know wisdom aha uh -huh. purge me with high soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow make me hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice hide thy face from my sins and blot out my iniquities verse 10 create in me a clean heart O god and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence take not thy holy spirit from me verse 12 restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and behold me with this and uphold me with a free spirit then i will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to thee deliver me from blood guiltiness O god thou god of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness O lord open thou my lips 
and my mouth shall speak forth your praise for thou desirest not sacrifice else i would have given it thou desirest not in bond offering thou delightest not in bond offering the sacrifices of god are a broken spirit and a contrite heart O god thou shalt not despise next verse do good in thy good pleasure unto zion build thou the walls of jerusalem someone is praying then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar lift your voice in one minute you are praying for yourself pray for your organization lord i found out the reason behind these consistent plagues consistent pain consistent delay consistent retrogression consistent failure consistent sickness mercy mercy in the name of jesus mercy we come boldly to the throne of grace we obtain mercy and we find grace to help in time of need mercy for nigeria mercy for our regions mercy for koinonia mercy for every family here mercy for every business mercy for every captain of industry every politician every head of parliament every professional mercy for our children mercy for those who have gone ahead of us in the name of jesus prayer point number two as for me and my house lord i agree with you this day that i will serve the lord no other name no other god no other force no other influence someone is praying please pray whether you come from lagos whether you come from plateau state from kaduna state from maiduguri from enugu anambra cross river port Harcourt. it does not matter whether you are from the f city lord as for me and my house i dissociate myself from the ordinances of idols someone is praying i dissociate myself from the worship of deities fraternities with gods that are not the true god i declare that as for me and my family i worship the one true god jesus the son of the living god it doesn't matter what shrine you went to it doesn't matter what the fathers did lord we pray as a nation lord we pray as a region as for me and my house as for me and this ministry someone pray as for me and my children pray as for me and my wife as for me and my husband as for me and my corporation outside make sure you are praying all the overflows as for me and my house we will live for jesus we will serve the lord pastors pray as for me and the vision god has given me no consulting mediums no consulting powers no consulting shrines it is jesus only jesus ever jesus only 
Jesus ever as the source of power, as the source of revelation, as the source of illumination. No bribery, no corruption. Pastors pray, no manipulating members, sincerity of truth, loving them and serving them. In the name of Jesus. Now don't be tired. We are still praying. Right now, on legal basis, you are going to pray and declare that every altar that he that told has had any legal grounds on your life, the blood is against it. He said we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. Someone open your mouth and begin to decree. In the name of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant is against altars of untimely death. Pray. You know what alters by the patterns in your life. Call it by name and curse it by the God of heaven. Operations of poverty, operations of failure at the edge of breakthrough, visitations of wicked spirits molesting you. That everything you do seems to fail. Untimely death, you come to an end over my life. Failure, you come to an end over my life. Disfavor, shame and reproach. The blood is against you. Whoever and whatever gave you legal access, I come by the backing of the throne of grace. I come by the backing of the throne of grace. I come by the backing of the throne of grace. Someone pray. A new order is emerging from you tonight. Your children will thank you. Your children's children will thank you. They will say, at what point did this transformation start? And you will tell them, when I found the revelation of the mystery of altars. Someone prophesied. My father may have died early. My mother may have died early. But I will not die early. I will not die on family death. In the name of Jesus, I am crushing that altar by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray. Graduate from the families. No job. No lifting. Pray. People don't get married. Or they get married and the home don't stay. Barrenness, repetitive patterns, failures in business. Someone pray. Sabekete kata, embreke tosko kopekete bata. The operation of these altars come to an end from Lagos to Abuja to Maiduguri to Kaduna State, to Rivers, to Cross River, to Kogi State. I don't care how long they have lasted. Lord, we pray. Someone pray. We lana malaka tapa de gata balaka tosh. Shaka de gata balaka tosh kapa laka ta. Embra de gata bras kapa laka ta pro de gata. Ekra de gata tapa ros kapa laka ta. Embra de gata topra gata balaka ta pro hotesh. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, someone pray. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are bringing a new order. Pray for your family. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of children becoming useless. Enough is enough 
of people never finishing what they start. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. In the name of Jesus. When I started ministry and I discovered that not many people from my region had had the privilege to rise to a global level and to stay and to last sustainably in ministry I said minus me but I knew that it would not just be empty talk you see let me tell you something about altars they don't care whether you are a pastor they don't care whether you are whatever once there is no compliance you can stand and be making a lot of noise and yet nothing will happen I made up my mind that I will serve the purposes of God at a global level and that anything that pegs people from my region and keeps them at a particular level that it will be my lifetime I will rewrite that narrative you're going to pray one more prayer before I speak over it. please don't be tired you came here tonight to deal with these things once and for all you are going to pray my destiny and my glory I connect you to the throne of grace go ahead and pray my destiny and my glory you are connected to that altar called the throne of grace my destiny and my glory you are not connected to ancestry my destiny and my glory you are not connected to wizardry and human manipulation my destiny and my glory you are not connected to earthly and platforms you are connected to the throne of grace someone pray my destiny my glory pray for your ministry my business your influence the workings of the spirit in your life connected to the throne of grace backed up by the king of kings himself backed up by the blood of the eternal covenant the meaning of that is no enchantment and no divination no enchantment no activities of wizardry necromancy the wasters of destiny they have no access to your life again connected to the altar Pray, you are not wasting your time. Man, the Connect your business by faith in the Son of the Living God, not as a blind ritual. No, let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward, I am no longer connected to ancestry. Someone is praying, let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward I am not connected to the limitations of bloodline let it be known in the realm of the spirit that from this day forward connected to the throne of grace Let it be known to principalities and powers. Let it be known to thrones and dominions that there is a switch of loyalty. Let it be known to principalities and powers that there is a switch of loyalty from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's dear son. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hear me, my dear people. Everyone is destined by Christ to rise. 
there is nobody who is destined to remain down please place your right hand on your head prophetically you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about I lay me down and I slept I wait for the Lord sustains me but thou O Lord art a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head hallelujah in the name of Jesus we are still praying please don't be distracted I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic any system of authorization whether as a result of personal sin whether as a result of territorial sin or foundations and bloodline by the mercy of God I decree and declare their legal hold over you is hereby broken hereby broken therefore every negative pattern every frequent occurrence that is inconsistent with that which the word of God says should be in the name that is above all names I bring to end those patterns now I bring to end those patterns now patterns of untimely death patterns of perversions patterns of delay patterns of limitation be broken now patterns of poverty and begging and hardship be broken now patterns of mediocrity and inferiority be broken in the name of Jesus hear me where you have not risen to before by reason of these limitations I stand by the power of the Holy Ghost rise to that level rise to that level in career rise to that level hear me if there is anyone here whose destiny is not open and is not speaking you love God you are sincere but your life is grounded and that's what you have seen happen to other people in the name of Jesus I decree and declare like a little flower opens up and begins to bud I command your destiny to open up open up financially open up hallelujah now in the name of Jesus if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you whether by reason of where you come from that means there are human beings alive who continue to swell those altars Manikes, Savarata, Ebrek Tatoskatia, Makapraskata, Latoshenekete, Ebrekete Barata in the name of Jesus I bring to an end the reign of such priesthoods their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of Baal they will not receive any answers again we shut the realm of the spirit against them we shut the power of the sun against them we shut the power of the wind against them we shut the power of the earth against them in the name of Jesus every medium of expression ceases to work for them If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body that has defied medical attention 
and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in it leaves your body now lungs and growths in your body demonic things that have defied some of you have had surgeries again and again and it will not go i curse it now in the name of jesus hear me every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now it is broken now Please put down your hand.